Hi everybody, Andy here. I want to demonstrate to you an article that I wrote a long, long time ago, way back in 2013. I wrote this article on applying master to all notes pages in Microsoft PowerPoint. If you're a Microsoft PowerPoint user, uh, especially those of you who use it for teaching and uh, communication of projects and so forth, notes pages or the slides and notes are really, really, really important. And uh, often uh, those of us who instruct, we like to provide you know, a, a PDF document basically that has the slide that we're presenting in the class and perhaps some notes uh, underneath that. The problem with this in PowerPoint has been ever since, I'm, and I'm talking way back in the, at the turn of the century, the problem with PowerPoint has been that if you make a change to the master uh, in PowerPoint, that change does not automatically get put into all of the slides. And uh, it's it's really an ugly bug. I, I think of it as a bug. It's probably, if, if you were to ask Microsoft, they would say, no, you know, what you're supposed to do is fix all of that before you create your slides and all of this other stuff. Um, the, the problem with that is it takes so much time. You can imagine a presentation with hundreds of slides, how this could be really problematic. Well, I found a fix way back and I, I want to just immediately give credit to the person. Uh, his name was David Foster, and he created this fix back in May of 1999. So we are talking about 20 years ago, 20 plus years ago, and this fix to this day still works fantastic, okay? So let's talk about how we do this. Let me demonstrate this. You can follow along with me on your machine if you want uh, so that you can see how to do this. Now, the first thing that we need to do is we need to have the developer tab in our Microsoft now uh, in our PowerPoint. So here is my PowerPoint and you can see that up here, uh, let me clear that little thing there. We have the file menu, the home, insert, draw, design, transitions, animation, slideshow, review, view, and help. You do not see the developer tab here. It's not on by default. And uh, this is something that we want to turn on. It's really simple to do. And uh, I will put a link, by the way, uh, to this particular article uh, if you want to you know follow along later uh, uh, you know along with the article you can do that or keep it as a reference that's fine um, so the the way that we do this is we go to file and then all the way at the bottom now this is the newer version the article kind of shows an older version of powerpoint um, this is the newer version i think this is 365 the options are all the way down at the bottom here so we're going to click on options we're going to get this pop-up dialog and what we want to do is go to the advanced tab uh, I'm sorry, uh, customize ribbon tab right here. And over here on the tabs, what we want to look for is the developer portion. Um, and so it'll be an unticked box. So it should be easy to find. There we go, right there. You can see there's the developer and it is not ticked. Again, this is the default. So we want to first of all, turn that on and say, okay. And what we'll notice back here in PowerPoint is that that developer tab now appears. Okay, so this is very important as a very, a very important first step, if you will, in order to then use this, this uh, process. All right, so we've done all of that. Now, the next piece is that we want to implement this code. Now, this is called a macro. And uh, so once you have the developer tab, you can then go into macros. Okay, so we're going to click on the developer tab, we're going to select macros, and in the macro name box, which will pop up, we're just going to call it something like apply master to notes. And I'll just copy this. So I get it exactly the same. Okay, so let's go over here. Again, we go to the developer tab and we're going to go to macros. We'll get a pop-up box here. And again, normally you have none, okay? So no big deal, but we are going to paste that name into here and we're gonna click on create. Okay, so now what we get is sort of this programming interface that we can put that code into. So you can see that this has appeared. Let's go back to the article. 
All right. Uh, so the, it says the dialog will open and then paste the following code. And it says, and you got to pay very close attention to this, it's got to be between the sub apply master to notes and the end sub. All right. So let's copy this whole thing. I'm just going to select it right off the web page all the way down to the word next. I'm going to hit control C and then I'm going to go up here and I'm going to paste this in between. There's actually a, 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 a a line, a blank line between sub apply master to notes and then end sub. So let's paste this with a control V. All right, now that has all been pasted in there. Looks great. Don't have anything more to worry about there. Let's go back here to the article. All right, uh, so we've done this um, and it says, I suggest you apply this to all presentations so this macro is available. Now, the truth is that's not necessarily going to be something you'll have to do. Uh, it's recommended if you have, you know, these large presentations like I do. I have these, I have so many classes that I have to manage and uh, all of these uh, presentations are, sometimes they're huge. Uh, they're, they're follow me lab exercises and stuff like that. So uh, this is something something that I like to have all the time, especially when I'm making improvements based on, on student feedback and things like that. Okay, now it says, go ahead and close the dialogue. It, uh, there's no real save process here, all right? You just close this, this thing out, okay? It has indeed saved that macro. It is now there, so um, don't worry about it. I know it doesn't sort of make sense. You would think you would have to hit save or something like that. All right, so now it says go to the View tab in PowerPoint and select the Notes page view, all right? All right, so we're going to go back over here and we're going to say View right here, and we're going to say Notes page. Okay, so you can see here I have the slide is in here, and then you can see the notes are below this. And I'll just go forward a couple of pages, and you can see that some of these have notes and others don't. Okay, that's fine. So remember, I, the, the presumption here is that I have made some change to the master okay, which I want to have applied to all of them. Um, and, and again, PowerPoint's very clunky with this. It doesn't always do this as you would expect. So what we want to do now is run that macro, okay? All right, so we're, we're uh, uh, back at the notes view page. Now what we want to do is click on the developer tab, select the macros, and we will see our macro is going to be there. And we will just simply select it and run it, and each notes page will get adjusted, okay? So this is where you can save a ton of time. The, before I actually do this and demonstrate this, the, the manual process to this is you have to sort of right click here, and then you have to say notes layout, reapply master. Okay, and you have to do this on a slide by slide by slide basis. It's it's absolutely archaic, um, and and it will drive you nuts. Okay, so I'm going to say cancel this. So I'm going to do it the automated way now that we have that macro. So I'm going to go to the developer tab. I'm going to click on macros. There's our macro right there. You can see it was saved, and all I have to do is click run. And here we go. It's not going to take very long because this is not a huge presentation. There's only like 15 uh, slides here. So here we go. I've just clicked run. And you can see that it just ran through the entire thing and made all the changes. It's a beautiful, beautiful thing. Um, now, there is a bug in the latest version of Office 365, um, and you'll see it here. It's kind of goofy that uh, running this uh, in, in this in this latest version, I lose my slide picture. I have to kind of come back up here and go to the notes layout and turn the slide image back on for some really peculiar, peculiar reason. Um, in other versions of Microsoft PowerPoint, this works perfectly and there are no issues and I'm sure they'll fix this um, now what I say at the end of the article is right how quick was that right um, uh, now seriously how hard would it be for Microsoft to put this in as some sort of automated process built in I mean it's not a lot of code so Again, I will link this article uh, in the description. I hope you find it helpful. I hope it saves you hours and hours of time as it has done for me. And once again, I'd like to say thank you, David Foster, wherever you are. 
thank you so much for this. Over the years, you were you provided a wonderful, wonderful little tool. I hope this helps everybody. See you in another video soon. Take care.